So we're here with Park Thistle's assistant manager, Scott Patterson. Um, Scott, you've had a, a sort of long association with, with Thistle. Um, as we go into our third season of the Premier League, this must be must be one of the best periods that you can that you can remember for the club. Yeah, obviously, obviously as a player and uh, during that spell I had a really good time as well. But I will say, uh, since I came on the coaching side and on the management team, I think the past three seasons have been fantastic, and hopefully we can keep building on that. Yeah, I mean, there's been a clear sort of series of progressions over the last two or three seasons um, in terms of first year in the league then consolidating last season it's, it's a real chance to, to build on that again and, and progression must be must be the sort of main word for you the real aim for this season yeah I, I think that's uh, size of club park Thistle is I think the main thing realistically is to survive in this league I think we've done that over the past two seasons uh, we improved our position last season and we're looking to do the same again this season I think we have got a good enough squad to go and kick on to the top six, but you know, first and foremost, our main aim is to stay in the league. And that's, I mean, that's the other area is that that progression in terms of the players that we now have available to us. When you when you look at the players that we signed last season and the targets we're well, linked, linked with just now, it's you can see how the club has grown, and and that goes for the guys that have been here for the whole time as well. The likes of Chris Doolan and Stuart Bannigan, they, they've all really developed as players over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, you know, the, the, the squad is built. You know, since the past three seasons, since we've been here, you know, from the first the championship, in the past two previous seasons, uh, hopefully we can do that again. We can keep adding uh, new faces. You know, obviously we've lost some, but uh, we'll look to, to add the right type of player. And it's got to be the right type of player to come into this squad. Now, over your time, both as a player and a, and a as a on the coaching staff, you must have had some must have some really good memories of, of Fir Hill and of, of the club what, what are the ones that sort of stand out for you um, from the as a, as a coach but also as a, as a player well first and foremost as a player I think uh, my two seasons here were, were fantastic probably the best in my career you know, you know I wasn't injured uh, I played the majority of the games but I think the, the team I had and the, the team spirit was fantastic uh, I think I can see a lot of that in this team as well uh, great management team as well you know John Lambie Jerry Collins were fantastic uh, and on the coaching side I think myself and Alan work really well together uh, we're good friends off the pitch uh, and we've got a great bunch of lads as well which helps Now you've obviously had a, a bit of time off over the, over the summer but um, you must be absolutely choking to get back at it um, this season and, and get back in amongst the games Yeah uh, we break uh, recharge batteries uh, I think that's our fifth, fifth day now. The boys have came back fit, uh, which helps us. Uh, you know, they're a good lot. Uh, they've looked after themselves. It makes our job easier as well. Uh, they've trained really well, and like I say, we'll, we'll use the next uh, three weeks to hopefully get us right for uh, the first game of the season. No, season tickets have been on sale for a, for a couple of weeks now. Um, they're selling well. I mean, how? Just give us an idea of just how important those fans that turn up to Fir Hill every week are, both to yourselves and and to and to the players, both when the times are good and when the times are a bit a bit harder in terms of results. Yeah, I think the fans are massive to us. You know, I think the players get a big lift when when they hear them cheering them on, and uh, myself and Alan, Alan are the same. And they've been fantastic home and away. No, uh, I always remember back to the, the 4-0 game up at Inverness. They, they never stopped singing from the start of the game to the finish. Uh, so they are vital, they are massive to us and the players really appreciate their support. And in terms of the, the season ticket income as well, I mean it's, it's absolutely vital for your, for your budget and to get those extra players in that you, that you need to strengthen the squad given, given those that have, that have moved on at the end of last season. Oh, it's massive, massive to all, every club in this league and your Celtics, but even more so at the likes of ourselves and the smaller type clubs. Uh, so it is vital that they do come in, back a club, get their season tickets and you know, hopefully, you never know, it might get us uh, a striker that will score us 10, 15 goals a season, if not 20, you know. And that's and that's got to be the that's got to be the target in terms of, of recruitment as well. You know there are a few areas in the in the squad that obviously need strengthening, but um, it's got to be quality over quantity. And you'll be looking for the right player at the right price in the right position. It always is uh, with us. You know we never rush into bringing players in. I think you can see some teams go and, and you know bring seven or eight players in straight away. Uh, I don't think we need to do that. But we we like to make sure we get the right type of player in. It's got to be the right. Uh, player that fits in the squad, fits in the dressing room, uh, so we'll take our time but we'll make sure it's the right player and hopefully it can get us uh, up further on the table. Well, thanks very much for your time Scott and hopefully we'll speak to you later on in the, in the pre-season all being well. Thank you, cheers.